Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am thrilled to be joined by Lauren Beheshti, the founder of the Good Neighbor Tutoring Program that is right here in Park City. Good morning, Lauren. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Eliza. Good morning. So I want to talk a little bit about this because Park City, we love to take care of each other and support fellow members of the community. You're coming out of the Park City School District. Perfect. And how did this program arrive in Park City? Uh, well, this is an offshoot of our regular ESL classes, so English as a Second Language for Adults. Uh, so this all comes from Community Education, that's a department of uh, Park City School District. Um, and we introduced this program because we saw that in our English classes um, we have three levels. We have beginning, intermediate, and advanced for our adult English language learning students. Okay. And each class is pretty multi-level. I don't know if you've ever right. learned it, a foreign can, language. Yes. Yeah, everybody. People go at their own pace. Exactly. And, yes. <laughs> exactly. So everybody is kind of at a different level. So we thought if our students all kind of want to focus on their own specific uh, goal, mm -hmm. um, why don't we introduce a program where they can work individually with an adult tutor just like them out in the community. Um, so that's what we did, and um, that's how Good Neighbors came about. And I love the inclusion factor of the yeah. Good Neighbor program. So I think people come to the ESL program with lots of different goals, but Definitely. there's usually a reason, right, yes. that really makes them, whether it be I want to be able to communicate with my child's teacher, Absolutely. or you know, I want to improve my prospects for my own employment. What are some of the common themes yeah. that you see? Common goals? Well, those are the two principal goals are those that the big people ones? have. Okay. Yeah, those are the big ones. I want a better job. Mm -hmm. I want to make more money. I want to be able to speak as well as my kids can speak because a lot of our students have uh, children that were born here or children that moved here when they were very young, so they are fluent English speakers. Right. No accent, nothing. They talk just you know like your kids would talk. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a big one. I want to be able to keep up with my kids. Um, I want to be able, we have some students who say, I don't want a translator to speak for me when I go to the doctor. I want to be able to take my health into my own hands. Of course. Um, I think that, there's yeah. a level of, of empowerment and, and pride in that. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Couldn't say it better myself. Um, so yeah, those are kind of the principal goals that our students have. Um, yeah, they want to be empowered. They just want a better life in general. And I think that, you know, if we were living in another country where the the primary language was Spanish or French, mm -hmm. we would take steps to learn that language 100%. just to keep up, yeah, and just to be involved in the community. And well, and I think the mm -hmm. community involvement is, is what's so wonderful. So mm -hmm. just like you or I would want to mm -hmm. join a program just to yes. meet other people yes. in the community. And get yourself that, out yeah, there. just get myself mm -hmm. out there, maybe meet people that I wouldn't necessarily know in yeah. my regular day to day life. Exactly. These people are going to mm -hmm. meet members of the community that maybe they wouldn't necessarily meet. A hundred percent. Absolutely. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So yeah. this mm -hmm. program started started last spring, spring it of did. 2016. Yeah, okay. this year. Mm -hmm. And you had how many matches? How many pairs? Uh, at the height of the program, we had 18 active matches that were meeting at least once a week. Um, many of them actually met two or three times a week, which was really cool. Um, and what we did was, since it was a pilot program, it was the first time we had ever done anything like this, we asked students and teach volunteers to mm -hmm. commit to three months, just to see how it was. Sure. It was the first time we were doing it. Um, so the three months came and went, fantastic, very successful. Um, okay. Everybody was really happy happy and really enthused, enthusiastic about the program. Um, so three months came and went and a lot of our um, volunteers are retired people in the okay. community, makes sense, they Up, have open course, schedules, yeah. um, or they, uh, this is their second home and they go back to wherever, wherever else they're they from. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wherever their first one is, <laughs> exactly. or your third, or whatever yes. it is. Yes. Yeah, so they go back, and so um, our numbers kind of dipped just because sure. of that. Um, so right now we have five active matches. So okay. of course I'd like to see that We want to see this grow, yeah. and that's really the goal here, mm -hmm. is to make people aware of the program. It's a new yeah. pilot program, mm -hmm. but it just makes so much sense. The synergy of Park City, we yeah. have such a diverse community, we do. but we also have so many people that have the time and resources yes. that want to give back. Exactly. You know, that, that have the background. So if you were thinking about volunteering or mm -hmm. tutoring, what are some of the things you look yeah. for? Uh, the, what are the requirements, oh, I should say? Gosh, um, for the for the volunteers. To be the volunteer, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, we just, um, before anything, we just want um, our volunteers to be uh, open and willing to learn about another culture and um, just to be willing to lend that helping hand to somebody else who lives in the community who uh, needs the extra help um, in terms of English communication. That's just it. And just everybody who is interested in the program already has that. You know, everybody right. just wants to help to begin with who, who sends in an application. So we've got that. Um, as long as you speak English, you know, <laughs> um, at a native level. And is it just having level, conversations? Yeah. It's just the practice, right? Yes. Uh, yes. 
and our, um, our volunteers select what their preference would be in terms of what they're working on. So I want to help people with literacy. I want to help people with um, civics and citizenship and gaining their citizenship. Or I want to help people with um, conversation or pronunciation, grammar. Mm -hmm. You can select those things on your application. The students also select those things. So we match people based on their schedule, obviously, the compatibility of the schedule, and then the compatibility of the goals. And, and we have so many people in the community with diverse backgrounds that have yes. these resources, they, like yeah. maybe retired lawyers, uh -huh. maybe retired, you know, that Absolutely. can actually, if somebody's goal is, mm -hmm. is to have more control over their medical, uh -huh. you know, we have retired doctors. Exactly. Can, you know. You're exactly right. And a lot of um, our volunteers do have backgrounds that are totally relevant to English or education. Uh, it just tends to be that way. You know, that's right. the demographic. Those, these type of people are interested in programs like this and opportunities like this. So does that kind of answer your question? No, absolutely. Okay. And it just seems mm -hmm. like a perfect fit. Yeah. Um, and the time commitment, mm -hmm. this is not a huge no, commitment. Not right? at all. This is not <laughs> in fact, I said a lot of our volunteers are retired people, but actually a lot of them do have full-time jobs. I mean, and once a week or twice yeah, a week, that's not a huge not commitment. Exactly. But it's it can really make not. an immeasurable difference it in can. these people's lives. It really can. So it I really know can. that people are going to be watching mm -hmm. and saying, I really want to do it, Lauren. Yes. How do I get there? How do they do that? Yes. Um, so I would say I'd recommend before anything else, um, go to pcschools.us. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can write that down or whatever. Yeah, well, but we, it's we can easy put to, it. There's the, awesome, the website. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Our director, she's on it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So pcschools.us and then community. Um, and then the you'll good see neighbors good program. neighbors program. There it is. You right. just print that out um, and then fill it out the application, and you can scan it um, or or fax it in. Mm -hmm. You can drop it by the district office. That's where I'm located. Okay. That's where the so office right by of the community. High school yes. The community. Yep. We right all there. know that's Cross Boulevard, Green Roof. That's what I always tell people. Um, so yeah, just fill that out whenever um, we. And then we have a brief orientation and training, and then uh, we get our volunteers matched up with their students, and everybody lives happily ever after. So. It sounds it's wonderful. good. It's good. It yeah. just sounds wonderful, mm -hmm. and it's it's just communities helping communities it and bringing is. people together, which absolutely. I think is so important, especially yeah. right now. Yeah, I, absolutely. Lovely. I couldn't say that better myself. <laughs> yeah, more integrated community. That's what we're trying for. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. All right, Lauren, thank you so thank much you, for being Liza. here. Yeah, this is my wonderful. Pleasure. And come back anytime. We want to have mm -hmm. you come back and tell us that you're full. That you don't have enough students <laughs> for all of the volunteers, right? <laughs> thank you. Uh, if you want to get involved, please go and be an even better neighbor than I'm sure you already are. And join the Good Neighbors Tutoring Program, head on over to the Park City School District's website and see how you can get involved. This is the Mountain Morning Show. We're going to take a quick break and be back with the Ski Utah Press Conference right after this.